what are the secrets of exalted or debilitated planets which are not direct not stationary but retrograde yes 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 many people are born with planets which are exalted like jupiter in cancer but it's retrograde <laughs> what happens when a planet is retrograde but also exalted and debilitated or one of them at least many times people think okay exaltation is good retrogression is bad so bad and good nullifies everything so they think an exalted retrograde planet won't do anything in that chart sometimes people think an exalted planet if becomes retrograde it becomes more exalted <laughs> and sometimes they say if a planet is in debility and it's retrograde they say oh the debility gets cancelled and it becomes exalted yeah or they say sometimes no it becomes more debilitated because it's more in a mess <laughs> sometimes they say uh, that exalted malefics if uh, retrograde you know, then it's good sometimes they say it's bad sometimes they say exalted benefics are good Uh, are retrograde and is good, or sometimes they say it's bad. But then, when you say benefics or malefics, are you talking of the natural malefics or the functional malefics or functional mal benefics, natural mal benefics? Who are you talking about? Okay. So it's a whole lot of. Uh, it's a very confusing topic for most of the people who watch videos in YouTube, especially. <clears throat> See. i have always said this and i am saying this again if you want to judge a planet now after seeing this video the comment section will be flooded with these questions oh i have jupiter in 10th house you know it's in retrogression it's uh, in you know pisces it's in sag it's in cancer it's somewhere <laughs> is it good is it bad what results will it give okay well uh, see i have uh, said this a thousand times and i will say it again the sign where a planet is placed in that tells how aware you are regarding those traits but the results come from the houses the results have nothing to do with the sign okay so for example this means if you have a planet in dusthana which is exalted that planet will give you some challenges in life inherently always in the dusthana of the bhav chart not the lagna chart okay if you don't know what is bhav chart then please go and type exotic astrology b h a v chart bhav chart so many times you have uh, let's take the example of uh, sagittarius rising the lagnesh jupiter gets exalted in the 8th house because cancer is the 8th sign but it may not be in your 8th house literally because in the bhav chart it may go to the 7th house okay as an example i am saying So then you will be wondering, oh, this uh, benefic was exalted, uh, but uh, it it was in Dusthana, but it was exalted, so it didn't give any bad results. Okay, no, it didn't give. It uh, did not literally give uh, good results because it was exalted. Because but the reason was because it was not in the eighth house. That is why it gave good results because it was in the seventh house. good results for marriage and business uh, of course not for every area in life so uh, similarly uh, when when it when it comes to retrogression you have to understand what is retrogression if you do not understand then you will keep making these blunders day in and day out okay so what exactly is retrogression what is the meaning of the word retrograde the word retrograde uh, in sanskrit if you translate astrology wise it it means vakri okay so this a guru is vakri uh, shani is vakri shukra is vakri budh is vakri mangal is vakri these are the planets which are vakri sometimes sun and moon can never be retrograde and rahu ketu are always retrograde or you could say that's their direct motion so except rahu ketu sun moon all the other planets can be retrograde okay so there you go welcome to exotic astrology and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel then please subscribe to it below and the link uh, for my website for consultations is also down below in the description section and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him 
it will help you even if you have five retrograde planets in your chart many times people think retrograde means it is bad well i have also said again a thousand times that when you say a planet is good or bad you have to see good or bad for what every planet is good for something it's bad for something i don't care if it is exalted or if it is in the 10th house let's talk uh, regarding the 10th house an exalted planet in a 10th house can totally ruin your married life it can destroy everything that is there in your marriage okay now you may say oh what is the 10th house is the house of name fame power position authority blah 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 but it's not good for something else okay that strips you of your family time the 10th house strips you of family time so you are left uh, with uh, no home basically and then your spouse doesn't want to stay with you because he or she doesn't get any time from you which is pretty obvious especially in kaliyuga but the thing is people think that oh that's a good house so it will be good for everything no it's not like this okay so don't think this is true now having said that once you understand that this planet is good or bad for the horoscope or not how do you know that it it's it's a detailed uh, analysis because once you know the flow of the chart flow of the chart means where is this person heading to in the upcoming mahadashas in the upcoming 3 4 mahadashas where is this person going what in the universe is this person going to do then if you see this planet is aligning with the focus or the goals of the upcoming mahadasha planets then you can say this planet is a good planet even if it is exalted or it is in debility even then or is direct or retrograde okay so this is something which we need to be very clear when we talk of uh, direct stationary or retrograde planets but you have to understand retrogression is a special energy retrograde means suppose you are going somewhere and suddenly you remember that you have forgotten something what happens that time you want to go back and get that thing back right so it's exactly that situation where you know the the situations uh, which that planet indicate which means the houses that these that planet rules in your chart so for example if in your chart jupiter is retrograde and jupiter is uh, you are mm, your 10th lord for example so then something to do with your career or boss will undergo a flavor of retrogression during jupiter mahadasha or antardasha or pratyantardasha which means you will uh, many times it happens if if your 10th lord is retrograde in the dasha of that planet you get a promotion but when you go and join the join uh, take that new position you realize oops this is not something which i think i would be interested in or this was not something which was told to me so then you uh, again go back to your earlier position or you change your company or you have a discussion with your boss this happens why because retrogression gives you a feeling that i should do it again this is the hallmark i need to do it again or at least i should or at least i might have to do it again all right could could maybe if what if i do this again how different would be my life okay so this is how you study retrogression and if a planet is exalted what does it mean exalted exalted means the awareness is very high not necessarily confidence confidence in today's world is very external it's uh, very much a part of showbiz okay externally as they say fake it till you make it okay so only uh, those people who talk of confidence actually have the least uh, self confidence i have seen and when i am talking of this word self confidence that is inner inner self belief so when you believe in yourself you don't need any confidence so and if you do not believe in yourself externally you can be this very smart guy you know going around doing 10 things and you know impressing people but you will still fail one day so <laughs> why because that self belief that trust is not there within that harmony is not there so confidence is a product of harmony between your thought words and uh, actions so if these three are in line then 
automatically you are confident. You don't have to artificially think, oh, let me be confident. You know, I'm not confident. Let me be confident. Let me buy some confidence. Let me take a loan for confidence. All right. That doesn't work actually. So this statement that exalted planet makes you very confident. I disagree with that statement. Okay. But if you're talking of confidence in a true sense, well, yes, then I agree. It could happen. If your thoughts, your speech and your actions, then they are in line. They are harmonizing with each other. What you want to, what you think, what you say, and what you do is in one line. Then you could say that that is uh, that is confidence. So, if you talk of a idealistic definition for confidence, then that statement would be true, but not necessarily for people of Kali Yuga, especially because for them confidence is really you know more about boasting about oneself you know oh, this person appears to be very confident why because this person can uh, speak lies very efficiently about oneself to everybody else okay especially this happens during presentations <laughs> all right so now let's assume that uh, a exalted planet gives you a lot of confidence which which in my terms as i explained it's more of you know self belief self worth self esteem Believe, believing in one's own identity, one's own uh, ideas, and one's own talent, and one's own capabilities, capacities. That's what is confidence. So now let's assume that an exalted planet is giving you that confidence. So suppose your seventh lord is exalted. So then it could mean that you are very much confident when it comes to uh, dealing with your marriage. You are very aware of when to do what, how to do what, and when not to do what. So when you are aware of all these things, the do's and don'ts and uh, exalted planet can also give you this feeling of understanding things very fast. It can give you intelligence because you have trained yourself from many, many lifetimes. You have perfected that area of life. It is almost saying like that, not 100%, but your ability to understand and grasp the knowledge regarding that areas these areas where which the planet rules is very good yeah. so as i said seventh house uh, seventh lord exalted this can mean that your ability to choose a good life partner is excellent your ability to deal rightly with a life partner is also excellent to deal properly deal in a good way okay and now when you go and make this planet retrograde, then what happens? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Again, as I said, if this retrograde exalted planet is in a Dustana, 6th, 8th or 12th in the Bhav chart, this will definitely give you some challenges in life. Okay, Not because it is retrograde, not because it is exalted and retrograde and that's why it is very bad. That's not the reason. Because it is in a Dustana. Dustanas are the ones which show weakness. All the problems of this world. They are in the Dustana houses. If there are no Dustanas, then there are no problems in life. All right. Many times astrologers in YouTube, they shy out. They fear from telling this. The Dustanas give you trouble, you know. They'll say, oh, no, Dustanas can, you know, uplift you. They can do this. They can do that. They can do so many things. But provided you are strong enough to deal with that, provided you have that level of maturity and uh, spiritual awakening, only then... Dustanas cannot do anything to you. If you do not have that, then 99% of the times you succumb and you fall uh, prey to the Dustanas. Okay? Either you become anxious, you become lusty, you become angry, you become disheartened, you become morose, or you get too much excited sometimes. Or you get excited for the wrong things in life. Okay, So now when this planet is exalted, and it is in Dustan, uh, and uh, and wherever it is, you know, in Dustan, uh, or as I said, if it is in Dustan, then even if it is exalted or retrograde or both, it will obviously give you some challenges. But if this planet, which is exalted and it is retrograde, is placed in a Kendra, Kendra, what, what it means? Kendra means 1, 4, 7, 10. Kendra shows the practical application of the talents and your uh, abilities in the real world. The first house is the body, fourth house is your home, seventh house is your marriage, and tenth house is your profession, largely speaking. So if your planet is exalted but retrograde in these kindras, it can mean that you have to start something not again, but from the basics, from ground zero, 
yes it would happen sometimes okay so therefore i consider the retrograde exalted planets in kendras to be very crucial because if it is uh, if it is supporting the horoscope as i said in the beginning if it is flowing with the flow of the upcoming mahadasha lords then what happens is this gives you a very strong base then that becomes excellent for the horoscope okay but if this planet is speaking against the mahadasha lords then this can really make your life miserable it can take you to directions and it can um, uh, totally make you change your direction in life okay so in that case it can be difficult so nobody can answer this question uh, jupiter in uh, fourth exalted what retrograde is it good or bad for the chart it depends on what the upcoming mahadasha lords they are indicating okay that is the most important thing uh, which astrology tells you that's the most important job of an astrologer is to figure out where are the mahadasha lords taking this person if that the astrologer cannot do then in my opinion the uh, astrologer is not able to help the client properly okay because that's what you do using astrology you know what's there in the upcoming mahadashas and what's there me does not mean you say oh you will get promotion or you will get married but how will be your inner disposition what are the things that you will like and what are the things that you will not like during this uh, upcoming dasha so once you know that once you figure that out then you see uh, uh, suppose uh, in this case if it's a aries lagna and guru is in the fourth in exaltation but retrograde so which houses does guru rules jupiter rules the ninth house and the 12th house and fourth and ninth they are known for education and 12th house is foreign lands you see so it could happen that jupiter in fourth exalted but retrograde can take a person to foreign lands but the person faces lot of struggle there because he uh, or she might feel that i do not have the necessary knowledge which i thought i would i had because exaltation can sometimes uh, give you this you know a bloated energy where you think you know everything right that's a uh, that that happens sometimes if the horoscope has too much ego then every exalted area feels like you are the superman you know everything and nobody else knows anything so then what happens is you are really frustrated because you have to start from ground zero again you might totally end up going to a different domain when you go for your higher studies abroad but if suppose the next uh, mahadasha suppose a person is running jupiter mahadasha and then the person runs saturn then mercury mahadasha and if these planets are supporting uh, the agenda of jupiter which means if these planets are supporting the work which this jupiter had to start from ground zero then that's an excellent placement to have otherwise this exalted jupiter being retrograde can make life very difficult because it's like saying you started something from scratch and then when the mahadasha changes you don't use it okay so what's the use of studying or what's the use of knowing or what's the use of even even touching those things if you are never going to use them in your life right i'm not talking on a monetary sense but overall uh in a in a overall perspective i'm saying you know? so then this can be a very good or bad placement according to what the upcoming mahadasha lords indicate and if it is in trines then what can happen is if there are calamities in life then the person can undergo major um, uh, changes within one's nature okay so that could also be a uh, good or bad for the person depending on how the chart is flowing so for example uh, in this case if um, suppose you take the example of a scorpio lagna okay now for scorpio lagna the uh, ninth house is cancer so jupiter here is the second lord and the fifth lord he is getting exalted in the ninth house so if jupiter is exalted in the ninth house uh, but it is retrograde so second lord it can show some you know, our teachings related to the family family structure family upbringing ninth house has something to do the father your uh, uh, paternal lineage okay and the fifth house can also show children or your creativity so something related to these if there are some events which happen in your life that might change your perception towards your children or towards your existing family where you were born and then if the upcoming dasha support this then this can be a great placement to have exalted jupiter in cancer but retrograde 
But suppose this is not supported by the upcoming Dasha Lords, then ah uh, may not be a very good placement to have. Okay. So therefore, understand that when a planet is exalted, but it is retrograde, you really have to start something from scratch because when you are in that exalted energy, you are full of this idea of being successful. And then when there is a jerk, that's like saying you the whole journey which you made, you feel as if it was not worth it. Okay. But then you again start, and then that could be good for you or bad for you in the long run, depending on where the chart is flowing and where the Mahadasha lords are taking you. So therefore, uh, be, you, you see the planet individually. What kind of things is the planet doing? You see the Deshkalpatra, where is the person born? Um, what age is the person is? Okay. Now, uh, what kind of things generally do people of his age do? What kind of decisions would a person of uh, 25 years or 35, 45, 55, 65, what, what will uh, people of these ages do? Mm -hmm. And then use your common sense. And then, of course, you have to know what the upcoming Dasha Lords are doing, where they are taking him to, and if this energy is going to help him there or not, okay? If yes, then it's a great placement. If no, then it's really a very challenging placement, right? And most of the times you will never see that it is binary, which means it will help, it will not help. You won't find it like this. You have to see that in some areas it will help you and some areas it will not help you. So you have to be able, you should be able to identify where is this exalted retrograde planet helping me in which area of life is it helping me and which area of life is it not helping me? Or when, in which dasha will I be able to use the knowledge that I will gain from this exalted retrograde planet, all right? And for that, you have to analyze the entire chart in uh, detail and know the flow of the horoscope, okay? Thank you very much for your patience. And uh, my website for consultations is down below. Subscription button is also down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him.